What's going down world of YouTube? This is going to be a real quick video. Look, I know a lot of you have probably seen the reviews for the Masters of the WWE Universe. Well, I picked up a couple of things from this this um this collection because, you know, back in the day I was a huge Masters of the Universe fan and uh actually Masters of the Universe, He-Man, Skeletor, those were actually some of the first toys I kind of fell in love with and I sent my mother to the store like crazy as a kid trying to basically pick up the whole set and um, you know I probably mid 80s I kind of veered away from it and start uh, being interested in other things like wrestling and uh, all kinds of other stuff but uh, there's always still been a love for Masters of the Universe figures. If you saw a video I did recently, you saw I uh, did a review on the uh, Masters of the Universe. Um, what are they called? Seven? Super Seven. Super Seven line of Masters of the Universe figure. Um, I think I did a review of this transforming He-Man right here, which is such a cool figure. Um, you know, it has the old school carding on it, and this is actually a figure that wasn't out back in the day, so I went ahead and picked it up. It's supposed to be a depiction of him when he's actually changing uh, into He-Man from, from Prince Adam to He-Man, so it's kind of like a freeze frame right in the middle, so that one's pretty cool. I showed that in, in another video, and this is the uh, regular Super 7 he-Man right here, as you can see, that's pretty cool. That has the old school look, and this is pretty much the old school figure. Uh, aside it being um, actually made by another toy company, Super 7, it's still the old Mattel figure, and oh, it's awesome. But this is not what this is about, but well, I, partly it's about it, but it's uh, Masters of the Universe and WWE, so... Right now, I would like to introduce, I'm sure you, some of you have seen before, the Masters of the WWE Universe line. Basically, this is a mash, a mesh up between Masters of the Universe figures and WWE figures. And, god damn it, that's a good idea, y'all. I don't know who, who came up with that, but you guys scored with that one because I love these figures. This is the first set, and the first set you have um, Ultimate Warrior. And you can check him out right there. He basically has on his WrestleMania 6 attire. And aside from these being figures that can easily go in your Masters of the Universe line, if you still collect a lot of Masters of the Universe figures, these figures also go directly into the Ramco AWA figure line. I'm sure if you are familiar with Ramco figures, you know they came out in the 80s and they were one of the first... Um, wrestling figure lines here in the states and uh they had a lot of great characters I, I don't have the whole set but i have a number of them probably do a a video on them one day uh but these figures fit perfectly in because if you take off some of the gimmicks like uh like the vest and like you know you get rid of the weapons you basically have a regular wrestlemania 6 ultimate warrior so that in itself, I, that that was a winner for me. I just had to get get these figures um, based on them um, going in the Masters of the Universe line. And again, that's one of the first toy lines that I fell in love with. But uh, the fact that they also double in and go in with the Realm Core line is really cool. Like I said, Ultimate Warrior is in the first line. And you also have this is... Sting! We've got Crow Sting in the line also. I mean, if you look at that figure, that's basically a 1998 WCW Crow style figure. But you, what you get is these attachments on the um, that he comes with. And it gives it like a clawful, I guess-esque feel to it. Um, because they're meshing, meshing each wrestler with... Uh, um, a different uh, Masters of the Universe character, so I think the uh, Sting is being meshed with Clawful. Even though Clawful, I think, was a lobster, and Sting is, you know, supposed to be kind of like he he rose. He has a depiction of um, 
They have uh, the scorpion on his chest. So, you know, they switched it up as best they could. But that's cool, though. I mean, look at this. You get a regular WCW, WWE, Crow Sting. Let me let you check out the back right here. They even got the old school artwork from the Masters in the Universe. If you are familiar with the uh, back of the cards, like you can check out the back of the card on this one. Where you sort of have that old school artwork on, on there. The WWE tried to do pretty much their best to show the same thing. And this is Sting. Show some of the action features. Um, as you've seen in some of the reviews before. Uh, these figures are very articulated. They don't have the swinging waist that the old school Masters of the Universe figures used to have. But they are articulated. Right there you can see that we have... Um, Triple H, Ultimate Warrior, Finn Balor, and Sting in the first set. And speaking of Finn Balor and Triple H, here's Finn Balor. And again, I wasn't going to buy Finn Balor at first, but I thought to myself, man, this is a really cool figure. Um, and I, I figured, hey, I'll go ahead and just get the first set. And if I don't buy each one out of each set, being that I'm pretty much a Legends collector, that's okay, but I just want to go ahead and get the first set of these. And as you can see, that's the that artwork on there. Isn't that cool? Very cool. Finn Balor. And here is the King of Kings, Triple H. And this is Triple H's figure. This is pretty much, a lot of people are saying this is like a mesh up between the uh, early Attitude area, Era Triple H and his uh, recent King of Kings uh, WrestleMania attire. As you can see, he has the... Uh, the uh, skull um, um, uh, helmet, and he has the uh, the shoulder pads. Thing is, with Triple H, he's always used that um, that He-Man type cross. I don't know exactly type cross you you call it. I think it's a, a Celtic cross, maybe. I could be wrong with that. Not, I think I'm right, maybe. Uh, but he's always used that. So again, Triple H in the Masters of the Universe line, Masters of the WWE Universe line. Makes total sense. These figures are awesome. They're also, they have uh, other ones coming out that um, us collectors are going to be on the lookout for. So I've got to keep an eye out on that. And the last thing I want to show you guys is the Masters of the WWE Universe Grey Skull Mania. Well, this is the actual um, ring that comes with the figures. And what they did was they took the old theme of Castle Grayskull and they just made it into a WWE ring. Castle Grayskull was the castle that He-Man would stand in front of and say, I have the power! And he would transform into He-Man. Well, they, they meshed it up right here with the WWE ring. So you pretty much got the uh, Grayskull Mania ring, and it has the old look of Castle Grayskull. You get the uh, blue ropes that's supposed to signify laser ropes, and you also, with this particular ring, you get Terra Claus Triple H, so we get another Triple H, and we also get John Cena, which I imagine he's the He-Man of the line, um, because he comes with an axe and a shield. The original He-Man came with an axe and a shield. And that's pretty similar to the uh, vest that He-Man wears right there. So you've got the John Cena right there. And you've got Terra Claus, Terra Claus <laughs> Triple H, which I think uh, they probably thought about terrorizing to his old WCW character. So you got He-Man right there. You see that John Cena and you got He-Man. Both got the vest on. I mean, it makes sense for John Cena to be the He-Man of... Uh, the WWE Turnia universe. <laughs> so uh, my personal pick would be Hulk Hogan, but you know Mattel hasn't started making Hulk Hogan figures again, so I don't think we'll be seeing it anytime soon. But we will be getting a Macho Man and other classic WWE stars. I'm gonna show you guys the back of this box. Really cool box, of course. And you guys know I'm a mint on car collector, so I won't be opening these. These will be going with the um, my other rings that I have stacked up right here. Look at that artwork. Isn't that cool? This is cool. This is an awesome line. Um, I was told this is the line that's actually going to replace the WWE retro figures, which was very cool. I still got a couple of those to get. 
uh, kind of took us back to the Hasbro style of figures that they made. So I'm cool with that. Um, but to get a couple more of these, I think this is going to be exciting, guys. Uh, by the way, this is not the only way you can get this ring. They also have um, a ring that comes without the figures. So you don't have to get the whole playset. But I figured if I was going to get the ring, I want to go ahead and be able to get the uh, Terror Claws Triple H, Evil Skull, King of Kings, and John Cena, the most unseeable man in the universe. Corny, right? I like it, though. All right, that was a quick one, guys. Remember, if anybody tells you toys are for kids, you tell them you ain't my daddy. And this is Gentleman Jack for Jack in the Box Collections, where we make collecting look cool. Holla at you.